think I know what I'm going to talk about. Hello everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I was goofing off today. Sunday, my day off. Uh, Saturday, I have other things I do which are more important than the work as well. So, today, I have my day to goof off for a little while. And I made something for y'all. Hello. Got me thinking about a topic. You know, you have a right to your privacy. But I have trouble. Uh, you know, a saint cannot remain anonymous. They're Word of mouth proceeds. Criminals cannot remain anonymous for long. And uh, politicians don't want to be anonymous. The elites that run things, they're not anonymous. You can find their names in the registry of who attended the Bilderberg. In the registry of who attended the Bilderberg, or uh, the Knights of the Malta Charter Knights, uh, the list of cardinals, Vatican Church, uh, top Fortune 500, uh, the uh, leading shareholders of these corporations. Um, the owners of the uh, Bank of London and the Federal Reserve. Their largest, share, largest shareholders would be all public uh, information. Let's look them up. They're not anonymous. The president's definitely not anonymous, though his past is. He has an anonymous past. That bothers a lot of people. It bothers me a little. Yeah, you know, I'm not anonymous. My name's out there. If you want to look for it, if you want to look through my videos, you'll find it. If you want to look at my comments, sometimes you'll find it. If you're really persistent, you might even find where I live, where I work. Well, you might not find where I work. Uh, but you, you might find where I live. Follow me to my work. Don't do that, please. I don't take kindly to it. And um, I'm oftentimes out in the middle of nowhere, so you'd be kind of obvious. Unless you're spying on me for satellite. I'm not scared, you know, it's, it's a waste of time to be afraid and have all that on my mind. We all know something big's coming down. We all know it's going to be terrible. No one knows what to do, really. We all have some ideas, people different ideas. Mine's the same preparation as always. I wake up every morning and I give it to God. This day is the Lord's. It's made. Let me serve Him in it as best I can. And then I go about my duties as best I can. I don't always accomplish it, and I'm not always the best at all of it. And at the end of the day, when I lay down, I thank the Lord for all that the day has provided. When 
it's over, it's going to be over. It's a trip we're all on. It's a journey. And uh, some people get stuck along the way, and you need to help pull them out of the gutter. Can't ignore them because they're all muddy down there cussing at people. Sometimes they need some help. Sometimes their mind's not right. They lash out angry at you. It's not really their fault, you know. Well, I still some bad hand and they just don't know how to handle it. They get to hate the world for it. Sometimes you gotta show them. Not everybody in the world's bad. Are you using the Bible as a guide or are you using the Bible as a weapon to whack people over the head with it? Are you one of the people that sit there and quote verses at people all the time? Or even on videos that have nothing really to do about spiritual matters or you know, you go to atheist channels and spout out a bunch of Bible verses at them. I think that's kind of funny, really. You know, are you looking for a fight? Um, there are some people out there, the unbeliever, the unbeliever is not your enemy. He's just deceived, misguided, mistaken. Not really their fault, you know. So be upset or angry with them, be kind. Many of them are kind. Many of them are good people. And someday their eyes will be open. Pray that they will be saved and be open in time. Be kind to them, help them along. Show them an example of a good person. And they'll be more interested in what you believe. Don't go shoving what you believe at them until do you know they're already ready to know it. They'll come to you and ask you about it. You know, pushing, pushing things on and beliefs on people is silly anyway. Expecting people to believe the same as you is silly. You can end up fighting with your friends over stupid things. We all have different minds and we all believe different ways and different things. And we're all going to have disagreements. But we can be kind to one another and try to understand the perspective the other one's coming from. Perhaps all we can do is agree to disagree. But uh, one day at a time, we all got to get through this together. And ain't nothing going to save you but Jesus. And He ain't going to pull you out keep you from being tormented or martyred for his name. Uh, be ready to suffer with everybody else. Be ready to give when you haven't got. Uh, it's going to be tough for everybody. It already is hard for most of you. Hell, more than half of you's already on the government dime to survive. Cause you don't know how to sustain yourselves. You don't know where to go. There's no work. Because all the work's moved overseas. Well, it's time to start making work. Start getting grassroots. All these things we're buying from Japan we can make here at home. I was playing with a piece of cardboard today, this is the bottom of the shoe box. Just to make a point. Okay. You can disagree if you want. Be kind in your comments. I welcome discussion. Now, uh, I want to switch uh, tack a little bit. I want to give some shout outs. Give some shout outs to a few friends that I've uh, 
come across lately and I'm going to have to put my glass on and read the tags okay one of them's a fellow I come upon he's kind of a kindred spirit in a way what he talks about and um, he's fairly new to YouTube I believe uh, he's a ballistic mystic he's a man that's sharing uh, things he's learned and spiritual thoughts in his mind and the welfare of all of us is that he's concerned I believe and he's a good man with uh, much to give much wisdom to offer us the next character I want to give a shout out to is a, a cyber guy I just get a kick out of it because of my dyslexia I, I, I looked at the name first and thought it said AC Berry guy a cyber guy I don't think he gets enough uh, subscribers he's a funny guy but he, he he's got a lot of good points and he comes at it with with a common man approach to matters and uh, I see some wisdom in his in his approach I see uh, a testament to uh, Christ's work in this man. You go check him out. Now another one. This guy's different. You know, you're not gonna. Some of you are gonna be turned off just by looking at him. But uh, believe me, this man knows what he's talking about. He's been there. And he speaks kind of strong. I warn you about that. The man's a good man. And that's Joe Mama. Now, I'm going to put all the links to these fellas down here. You go check them out. They don't get enough views. They don't get enough subs. Now there's one more gentleman. Well, I call him a gentleman because he is a Gentile. Gentile man. And he's a good man, and he's uh, he's someone that doesn't get enough views or, or watches his subscribers either. And I believe this man needs him because I believe he has a duty to perform here with his videos. Uh, and I would like you to uh, go check him out. His name is Samuel Godfrey George. That's his title. He's a brave man spiritual man who's given himself totally to God. And I believe he has. And I think you should check out the wisdom that he provides as well. Whether you're a believer or not, the man gives good wisdom. Now, I've got to go check out something going on here. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. All these other things. Uh, Got to go take care of some business, and uh, I want you all to just think about things and go check out those fellas. And uh, peace, love, and understanding be with you. And Obama, and uh, the Bilderbergers, and the common man. We all live on the same planet here now.